Welcome to today's video segment where we will be changing out the filament for our Prusa i3 printers. We're going to want to turn the printer on if it is not already. Location for the printer power is on the back side here by my finger. <clears throat> printer is going to boot up. And to get into the menus, we're going to want to push in on the control button. And then we can go ahead and scroll into our different settings. So today we're going to be unload filament as step one. Push the button. We're going to select what printer or what type of filament is in the printer. So on your typical roll of printer of filament is going to be a sticker. And this happens to say what we're putting on is PLA, and that's the same sticker that's basically on the printer now. So looking at the roll that's on the printer, it says PLA, so we're going to scroll down to that, push in on the button. So that's going to take the preheat settings of 215 degrees for the hot end, which would be the nozzle, and 60 degrees for the bed. Don't know that it's actually going to heat up the bed just to unload filament but that's where we're pulling those settings from. So right now, the hot end here is heating up to 215 degrees so that we can remove the filament. It is going to beep at us once it gets close to that heat range. So I'm gonna stay down here for right now so that we can see the screen as it's heating up. It is a good idea to keep our filaments in a bag to try to keep air from getting into there as much as possible. And we can even keep a little bag of uh, desiccant in the bag with the filament as well, which is again going to keep moisture as much as possible out of that area. You'll see me removing those in a moment. Okay, so it got close to temp, so it beeped at us. So I'm going to come up here right now. It says press the knob to unload the filament. So when I press the knob at the same time I'm just going to kind of keep my finger on the filament up here. I always do that just for um, security I guess. It's something I've always done. So I'm going to press the button and it's going to move the head up and then slide the filament out and then I'll just easily pull it out from there. So I did not have to pull real hard to get that filament out of the head. So now you'll see that we've got the roll of filament free at the top and down here on the screen and went back to the main menu because it's done unloading. So now we're going to want to load new filament. So I'm going to take this roll without it spooling out on me real bad off the printer and I'm going to go ahead and put it through the holes here. Actually I'll go ahead and cut piece off so it's nice and clean and then I want to put it through the hole on the case through the other hole just so it doesn't spool out on me when I've got it in storage. From there I'm going to take the spool I want to put on I'm changing from green to black so I'm going to go ahead and open up that bag And there was a desiccant bag. I'm going to put the other printer filament back in the bag with that little sack and seal up that right away. Try to get as much air out of there as possible and that can be set in storage. So now we've got our black filament we want to put on. Looking at the sticker again, it's PLA and black. So I'm going to find the end, make sure it's coming off towards the front of the printer here. Go ahead and pull that out. Stick it on the roll holding on to that end. And I'll go ahead and cut that end a little bit free. 
Okay, let's go ahead and do the load filament setting. So you'll notice it's still hot. It's holding those settings down here in regards to heat. So if you were just unloading and walking away, you're gonna wanna make sure that you actually do the cool down setting. So let's go into menus. All right, so we're gonna go auto load. So it's right here, auto load filament. And when we press that, it says it wants us to insert the filament into the hole. So I'm inserting it into the hole. And it automatically started grabbing it. It's pulling it in right now. If I'm pinching, you can see my fingers going down because it's pulling that filament into the head. So now we're gonna look down here. You can see a little bit of the old. Here comes filament out now. It's purging out the green. And we're starting to get black now. And it's gonna ask here a nice question. Filament extruding with correct color, yes or no? So if you're putting a light color in and you used to have a dark color, it's gonna take a while to get to that good color. So if you hit no right here, which I'll do it, it's actually going to extrude even more plastic out. And you can hit no as many times as you need to get to clean, fresh material. But once you're happy with the color coming out, we're gonna hit yes. And we're okay, and we're done. So we're gonna hit this little X button to go back. And we should be good to go with the new filament loaded. So we now have black loaded into the printer and we'd be ready to start doing whatever print it is we wanted to do with this particular color. So this is a short video on how to change the filament for your 3D printer for the Prusa i3 MK3S+.